Chapter 5. Major Domains of the Earth. 5. Major Domains of the Earth. As you have read in the first chapter, the Earth is the only planet which has life. Human beings can live here because the life-sustaining elements of land, water and air are present on the Earth. The surface of the Earth is a complex zone in which three main components of the environment meet, overlap and interact. The solid portion of the Earth on which we live is called the lithosphere. The gaseous layers that surround the Earth is the atmosphere, where oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and other gases are found. Water covers a very big area of the Earth's surface and this area is called the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere comprises water in all its forms, that is, ice, water and water vapor. The biosphere is the narrow zone where we find land, water and air together, which contains all forms of life. Word origin. In the Greek language, lithos means stone. Atmos means vapor. Hutter means water. And bios means life. Can you make words using the above? Lithosphere. The solid portion of the Earth is called the lithosphere. It comprises the rocks of the Earth's crust and the thin layers of soil that contain nutrient elements which sustain organisms. There are two main divisions of the Earth's surface. The large land masses are known as the continents and the huge water bodies are called the ocean basins. All the oceans of the world are connected with one another. Look at the map of the world, figure 5. 1. Are all the land masses connected with one another? The level of seawater remains the same everywhere. Elevation of land is measured from the level of the sea, which is taken as zero. Figure 5. 1. The world. Continents and oceans. The highest mountain peak mount. Everest is 8,848 meters above the sea level. The greatest depth of 11,022 meters is recorded at Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Could you imagine that depth of sea is much more than the highest point? Do you know? Edmund Hillary, New Zealand, and Tenzing Norgay Sherpa, India, were the first men to climb the highest mountain peak mount. Everest on the planet Earth on the 29th of May 1953. Junko Tebe, Japan, was the first woman to reach the summit on the 16th of May 1975. The first Indian woman to climb the highest peak on the 23rd of May 1984 was Bakendri Pal. Continents. There are seven major continents. These are separated by large water bodies. These continents are, Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. Look at the map of the world, figure 5. 1. And notice that the greater part of the land mass lies in the Northern Hemisphere. Asia is the largest continent. It covers about one-third of the total land area of the Earth. The continent lies in the Eastern Hemisphere. The Tropic of Cancer passes through this continent. Asia is separated from Europe by the Ural Mountains on the West, Figure 5. 1. The combined land mass of Europe and Asia is called the Eurasia, Europe plus Asia. Europe is much smaller than Asia. The continent lies to the west of Asia. The Arctic Circle passes through it. It is bound by water bodies on three sides. Look at the map of the world and locate it. Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. The equator or zero degrees latitude runs almost through the middle of the continent. A large part of Africa lies in the northern hemisphere. Look at the figure 5. 1. You will find that it is the only continent through which the Tropic of Cancer, the equator and the Tropic of Capricorn pass. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert, is located in Africa. The continent is bound on all sides by oceans and seas. Look at the world map, figure 5. 1. You will notice that the world's longest river, the Nile, flows through Africa. Notice where the equator, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn pass in the map of Africa. North America is the third largest continent of the world. It is linked to South America by a very narrow strip of land called the Isthmus of Panama. The continent lies completely in the northern and western hemisphere. Three oceans surround this continent. Can you name these oceans? South America lies mostly in the southern hemisphere. Which two oceans surround it on the east and the west? The Andes, world's longest mountain range, runs through its length from north to south, figure 5. 1. South America has the world's Amazon. Australia is the smallest continent that lies entirely in the southern hemisphere. It is surrounded on all sides by the oceans and seas. It is called an island continent. Antarctica, completely in the southern hemisphere, is a huge continent. The South Pole lies almost at the center of this continent. As it is located in the South Polar region, it is permanently covered with thick ice sheets. There are no permanent human settlements. Many countries have research stations in Antarctica. 
India also has research stations there. These are named as Maitri and Dakshin Gangotri. Figure 5. 2. Isthmus and Strait. Hydrosphere. The Earth is called the Blue Planet. More than 71% of the Earth is covered with water and 29% is with land. Hydrosphere consists of water in all its forms. As running water in oceans and rivers and in lakes, ice and glaciers, underground water and the water vapor in atmosphere, all comprise the hydrosphere. More than 97% of the Earth's water is found in the oceans and is too salty for human use. A large proportion of the rest of the water is in the form of ice sheets and glaciers or under the ground and a very small percentage is available as fresh water for human use. Hence, despite being a blue planet, we Figure 5. 3. Comparative size of the continents. Count the squares given in figure 5. 3 and answer the following. A. Name the largest continent. B. Which is larger, Europe or Australia? Oceans. Oceans are the major part of hydrosphere. They are all interconnected. The ocean waters are always moving. The three chief movements waves, the tides and the ocean currents. The four major oceans are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean, in order of their size, figure 5. 1. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. It is spread over one-third of the Earth. Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the Earth, lies in the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is almost circular in shape. Asia, Australia, North and South America surround it. Look at the map and find out the location of the continents around the Pacific Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world. It is S-shaped. It is flanked by the North and South Americas on the western side, and Europe and Africa on the eastern side. The coastline of Atlantic Ocean is highly indented. This irregular and indented coastline provides ideal location for natural harbors and ports. From the point of view of commerce, it is the busiest ocean. The Indian Ocean is the only ocean named after a country, that is, India. The shape of ocean in the north, it is bound by Asia, in the west by Africa and in the east by Australia. The Arctic Ocean is located within the Arctic Circle and surrounds the North Pole. It is connected with the Pacific Ocean by a narrow stretch of shallow water known as Bering Strait. It is bound by northern coasts of North America and Eurasia. Atmosphere. The Earth is surrounded by a layer of gas called the atmosphere. This thin blanket of air is an integral and important aspect of the planet. It provides us with the air we breathe and protects us from the harmful effects of sun's rays. The atmosphere extends up to a height of about 1,600 kilometers. The atmosphere is divided into five layers based on composition, temperature and other properties. These layers starting from Earth's surface are called the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere and the exosphere. The atmosphere is composed mainly of nitrogen and oxygen, which make up about 99% of clean, dry air. Nitrogen 78%, oxygen 21% and other gases like carbon dioxide, argon and others comprise 1% by volume. Oxygen is the breath of life while nitrogen helps in the growth of living organisms. Carbon dioxide, though present in minute amount, is important as it absorbs heat radiated by the earth, thereby keeping the planet warm. It is also essential for the growth of plants. Figure 5. 4. Layers of the atmosphere. The density of the atmosphere varies with height. It is maximum at the sea level and decreases rapidly as we go up. You know, the climbers experience problems in breathing due to this decrease in the density of air. They have to carry with them oxygen cylinders to be able to breathe at high altitudes. The temperature also decreases as we go upwards. The atmosphere exerts pressure on the earth. This varies from place to place. Some areas experience high pressure and some areas low pressure. Air moves from high pressure to low pressure air is known as wind. Figure 5. 5. A mountaineer. Biosphere, the domain of life. The biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between the land, water and air. It is in this zone that life that is unique to this planet exists. There are several species of organisms that vary in size from microbes and bacteria to huge mammals. All the living organisms including humans are linked to each other and to the biosphere for survival. Figure 5. 6. The biosphere. The organisms in the biosphere may broadly be divided into the plant kingdom and the animal kingdom. The three domains of the earth interact with each other and affect each other in some way or the other. For example, cutting of forests for fulfilling our needs of wood, or clearing land for agriculture may lead to fast removal of soil from slopes. 
Similarly, Earth's surface may be changed due to natural calamities like earthquakes. For example, there could be submergence of land, as happened in the case of tsunami recently. Parts of Andaman and Nicobar Islands were submerged underwater. Discharge of waste material into lakes and rivers makes the water unsuitable for human use. It also damages other forms of life. Emission from industries, thermal power plants and vehicles pollute the air. Carbon dioxide, CO2, is an important constituent of air. But increase in the amount of CO2 leads to increase in global temperatures. This is termed as global warming. There is thus, a need to limit the use of resources of the Earth to maintain the balance of nature between the domains of the lithosphere, the atmosphere and the hydrosphere. Exercise 1. Answer the following questions briefly. Of what are the four major domains of the Earth? b. Name the major continents of the Earth. c. Name the two continents that lie entirely in the southern hemisphere. d. Name the different layers of atmosphere. e. Why is the Earth called the blue planet? F. Why is the Northern Hemisphere called the Land Hemisphere? G. Why is the biosphere important for living organisms? 2. Tick the correct answers. At the mountain range that separates Europe from Asia is I. The Andes E. The Himalayas E. The Urals B. The continent of North America is linked to South America by I. An isthmus E. A strait E. A canal C. The major constituent of atmosphere by percent is I. Nitrogen, E. Oxygen, E. Carbon dioxide. D. The domain of the Earth consisting of solid rocks is. I. The atmosphere, E. The hydrosphere, E. The lithosphere. E. Which is the largest continent? I. Africa, E. Asia, E. Australia. 3. Fill in the blanks. At the deepest point on the Earth is blank, in the Pacific Ocean. B. The blank, ocean is named after a country. C. The blank is a narrow contact zone of land, water and air that supports life. D. The continents of Europe and Asia together are known as blank. E. The highest mountain peak on the Earth is blank. 1. Cut the outline of the continents from an outline map of the world and arrange them according to their decreasing sizes. 2. Cut the outline of the continents from an outline map of the world and try to fit them together as a jigsaw puzzle. 3. Collect pictures of expeditions to the Himalayas. Write about the kind of equipment carried by the climbers for protection against sunshine, temperature and the lack of air. Map Skills 1. On the outline map of the world, mark the following. Europe, Asia, Antarctica, South America, Australia, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, 